back inside the DJ studio with your boy DJ Vic Nice of Can't Turn Down Radio. In today's video we're going to go through a few techniques that I used to create this short clip. Basically how I recorded this track was I used a couple of programs. First and foremost I used Final Cut Pro as my video editing software. I used another program called Adobe Audition which I used to record my vocals. You know what I'm saying, which was the can't turn down sample that you see me scratching in the video. When we do our DJ mixes, we get copyright strikes, and a lot of times our videos get deleted and stuff like that. So this time in this video, I opted out to use a, a royalty fee track that I got from YouTube. And um, I'm gonna link the description of the of the instrumental below. You know, it's a dope instrumental. I was definitely digging it when I was when I was looking through some songs to uh, use in my video. So basically, I use Adobe Audition to record my vocals which was inside the DJ studio or well, basically I said it like in I said it like this inside the DJ studio then I put some effects on it in, a, in audition and I put a little filter down to, to filter it down a little bit so it doesn't sound too clean because I wanted to have a, 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 a bassy analog sound when I'm scratching it I didn't want it to be too pronounced in the mix so what I did was I put some filter on it and I put a little uh, reverb and some delay or um, echo that I added to it, not delay, but I put an echo on it and um, it came out pretty good. So as you can see in the video, um, you can hear me scratching the vocals that I created earlier before I created the mix. To get those video shots that I got in the clip, I used two cameras. I used a Canon. DSLR and I have a Logitech C920 HD webcam records great video you know I love the camera I'm probably gonna cop another one just to have an extra one you know but um basically it's very inexpensive camera that um the Logitech C920 you probably can get it for about 60 70 bucks now you know because they came out with a newer version that records HD at 60 frames per second. Right now, for the for what I'm using, 30 frames a second is just fine. Um, you know, but you can cop that Logitech C920 at Best Buy or any you know your favorite electronic shop that you go to to uh, get equipment. Like I said, it's about 70 bucks, so it's not it's not very expensive. When I bought it, it cost me I think about about 100 bucks. And I've had it for a few years now, so it's always worked fine for me. And um, it's a great webcam. So like I was saying, you know, I have a two camera set up. My DSLR, I catch the wide shot. That's uh, including myself in the shot and the whole setup. And the second shot is the close up of me mixing on the controller. So you really just see my hands and it's basically focused on the Pioneer DDJ SX. And um, that's how I get my shots, especially in this, in this video that I did. Now, in order for me to capture great audio, for my DSLR camera 
you know, I kind of used my Rode Video Mic Go. You know, and the great thing about this, it has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is right here. You know, which I got an extension cable to run all the way to my camera, which is set up right here. You know what I'm saying? Which which enable you to move the mic closer to you. Let me just go around so you can capture it. Which allows me to move the mic closer to you and have the camera a little further away so you can catch a nice wide shot. So I was able to do this. Most most times you can get yourself a boom mic stand. Get yourself a boom mic stand and you'll be able to do this very easily. You know what I'm saying? Because once the mic is closer to you, you'll get better sound. Sound from, especially when you're using um, dialogue and speaking into, you're speaking to the microphone. So if I had it connected to the hot shoe mount right here on the top, it would be far away from me so you wouldn't get clear enough sound. So because I use the extension kit, because I use the extension headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter jack, I was able to run the mic a little closer, which gives gives it better sound quality. You know, for me sitting right here and I'm talking directly into the microphone. So what I did was, you know, I used the boom arm that I wasn't using, that I usually use for my desk, and I connected to a speaker stand that I wasn't using. You know what I'm saying? I put it through the hole in the top. <laughs> you know, I was I was in here one day just thinking, I'm like, yo, man, how can I get my microphone closer to me without moving the camera? You know? So I had an idea and it panned out and it worked pretty well. You know what I'm saying? So I give me a boom mic stand, but right now this it works. You know, it's a pretty good, like I said, it's a speaker stand that I don't really use right now. I'm not doing any parties at the moment. So, you know, I can utilize it for something else, repurpose it for the moment. And I'm digging it. You know, I might keep it. I might not even get a boom stand. I might just keep using it like this. <laughs> so, um, you know, like I said, you know, it's my basic setup and what I did to create this short clip. And, um, you know, it, it is, it is, you know, it works. You know what I'm saying? So, once again, thank you for watching this video. Like, share, and subscribe. As always, it's your boy, DJ Vic Nice of Can't Turn Down Radio. And this is Inside the DJ Studio. Until next time, peace. DJ Vic Inside. Inside. Inside.